Hi, I'm Kelly from Using Technology Better, and here's your Canva update for February 2024. Today, I'm going to show you five apps inside Canva that are going to completely enhance the way that you use it. The first app I'm going to show you is called Grab Text. Now, Grab Text allows you to grab the text off any image. It might be an image that you have um, done a screen grab of, which is what I'm going to use today. So this one here is a screen grab from the Canva homepage. It could be a photo that you've taken that's got some text in it. The magic of Canva, when I go into Edit Photos, and you'll notice this Grab Text app, is it's going to convert any text that it finds on that image into editable text, so a text box. So now this one here, I can actually delete and change things up. So anywhere that there was text, there is now it has become a text box. Amazing, amazing tool. So many different ways that you can use this in Canva. The second app is called Blur Brush. Now, Blur Brush pretty much is what it says. It's a brush that blurs things out on your image. So if I click on my image, I go up to Edit Photo again. If I scroll down, I'm going to go to the effects and I'm going to go to Blur. Now, I could blur the whole image, but what I want to do is I want to make it so that the birthday girl on the front here is actually a lot more in focus than the other children in the background just so that I've got my focal point as the most um, clear, crisp part of my, my photo so that people that are looking at it are going to be drawn to that part of the photo. So I am going to add a blur as my brush type and I'm going to, I might make my blur brush quite big because I'm going to be blurring out quite a lot. If you're blurring out very little, you can bring it down. Um, further. The intensity, now this is how blurry you want it to be. I don't want to completely blur them out, they're all started part of the image, so I'm just going to bring it down probably to about a seven um, today. And now all I do is I tell it which parts I would like it to be blurry. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to blur out anything that's not this child in the front. Stuff on the, on the table looks blurry already, so I won't bother with that. And now she's nice and crisp, and the rest of the children are quite blurry. I'm just going to blur that out. Now, if I accidentally blurred out her crown, and I still want her crown, if I click on Remove, I can then go and bring that part of it back. Now, it might be that I want to remove it quite finely, so I can make my brush thinner and it's going to just do what I've asked it to. An amazing tool to help you with focal points on your images. The next tool, if you haven't found the AI image generator, this is a really fun tool to use. So it's inside the elements and if you scroll down you've got your image generator. Now there's a couple of um, examples here for you but I'm just going to hit generate my own and it should take you to being able to describe the image. I was playing around with this before, and I'm just going to copy and paste something that I prepared earlier in here. Now, once I've copied and pasted it in, I can go through and change the style that I want, or I can just leave it open to interpretation, and I can choose the aspect ratio of it as well. So if you want a square landscape of a portrait, it's up to you. Maybe I'll choose landscape. And let's go, there's more here if I click see all. Um, let's make it some concept art. Okay. If I hit generate image, it's going to do its magic and it's actually going to generate an image for me. And the prompt I put in was a businesswoman sitting at a desk with her head in her hands. The desk is super messy with lots of papers and pens all over it. I find the clearer and more descriptive you are, 
with your prompt, the better the images are that are going to come out of it. You'll notice them are all starting to pop in, and now I've got four. Now, if I don't like those ones, I can generate it again. Just hit generate again. But if I do want one of these ones, I just click on it, and it's going to add it into my slide for me. Now, if you didn't want concept art, you can click none and generate it again. So you can go through and change things and keep getting it to generate stuff for you. So this is amazing, especially for those of us that can't draw that well or want something super specific but can't find it. And now we can actually have our images generated for us with AI. The next tool is called Sketch to Life. Now this is very similar to the AI image generator. However, if I go into apps, it looks like this, this little apple that's half sketched. So I've got describe your sketch down the bottom, but I've also got my sketch. So this allows me not only to give it a prompt, so maybe I would like this time, a lake with mountains in the background, the aurora borealis is in the night sky reflecting in the lake. But I can give it some specifications of where I want stuff to be by using my sketch. So I would like the mountains kind of like halfway. And if we have the lake down here, I'm just going to make this the lake. And now let's see how it goes. I'm going to hit generate. It's going to think about it. It's going to create it and it's going to pop it onto my page. This one's a little bit different. Oh, that one wasn't quite what I wanted. Whereas I can't go through and re-edit it, which is why it's good if you've got it written out so you can copy and paste it in. Um, if it's not quite what you want the first time, you can continue to draw stuff through here. So let's not put the wiggly lines and see how it goes. It's a little bit better. It looks more like a C. Every time I do this, it gives me something completely different. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not quite as good. But yeah, have a play around with it. This one might be something that's a little bit easier or a little bit more specific for your context than the AI image generator. The final app we're going to have a look at is called Enhancer. Now, the Enhancer app allows you to enhance a picture that you upload so it makes it bigger. So we've all got these images that have been taken with really low resolution. This will actually enhance it and make it up to a thousand times bigger um, using just AI to infill all the parts that would have been there. So if I go to my apps, and it's actually an app I have to add. Um, if you don't have it, because it won't be in your apps unless you add it, just search for it inside the apps. It's called Enhancer. And once you start using it, it'll be part of your apps. So I'm going to choose a file. And I'm just going to click on this little bunny one here. Now, there is an option to enhance a face. It enhances human faces, not bunny faces. So I'm not going to turn this one on today. But if you do have um, people in your photo, you might want to pop enhance face and make sure that the faces inside the photo are nice and crisp and clear as it enhances it. So I'm just going to hit enhance image. It does take a wee while. the magic of video we're able to speed that up so I get my enhanced image which has been upscaled by 180 percent and the original image down below as well so I can just add that to my design and now I can make my bunny nice and big if I want to so there are five new apps for you to have a little play with to enhance your Canva experience this has been the Canva update for February 2024 hope there's something you can play with.